So Fat Joe and Papoose defend Eminem after Melly Mel's criticism. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So Fat Joe and Papoose may hold Melly Mel in high regard, but they don't agree with his recent criticism of Eminem. Melly Mel questioned Slim Shady's number 5 ranking on Billboard's Top 50 Greatest Rappers of All Time list during an interview with The Art of Dialogue last week, arguing he's only considered a top tier rapper because he's white. What you think about Eminem being at number 5 on the Billboard Top 50 Rappers of All Time list? I, obviously, he's a capable rapper. If you was talking about sales, he sold more than everybody. If you're talking about rhyme style, okay, he got a rhyme style. But he's white. He's white. So now if Eminem was just another nigga like all the rest of us, would he be top five on that list when a nigga that can rhyme just as good as him is 35? That had records and all that. He's 35. He's white. So now you could be, he, 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 and anybody could be as mad as they, they could feel how they want to feel. If you don't think that race plays a part in, in the equation of how great he is. I heard one of the dudes that's down with him, Royce the 6'9", or Roy, it was one of them, I heard he's just as good as Eminem. Why ain't he as big as Eminem? Because he black. That ain't, it ain't, ain't none of that shit hard to figure out. M M M Eminem gets, gets a, a, a top spot because he's white. Chewing over his comments on Instagram Live on Monday, Fat Joe and Papoose respectfully disagree with Melly Mel, claiming that Eminem's lyrical talents are undisputed regardless of his race. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that because even though even though Eminem is Caucasian, you know what I'm saying, we can't act like we don't, you know, obvious to a duck. Um, you cannot front on his skill set, man. No way. You, you can't deny that skill set, man. Nah. You can put that skill set on any nationality. I don't care. What 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 race? And we don't and, and Pat, we don't want to make this so much a race thing, even though it is a race thing. But mm -hmm. I was at the slam dunk contest and I knew I had never seen a white boy dunk like that before. The, the, <laughs> and so and, and, and while he was doing it, I realized my whole life has been mm -hmm. based on basketball. Right. I've never in human eyes from every park I've been to, from Brooklyn to Queens to everything, right. I've never seen a white boy dunk like that, so I knew it was history. Right. And Even was, Jason Williams, well, uh, I don't know if I said his name wrong. I remember a uh, white chocolate. You remember white a chocolate? A white chocolate, yeah. But you know I'm saying. hand doing that boy? <laughs> what was he doing with a hand doing like that? And so, and so, <laughs> as much as I love and worship Melly Mel, I think he's wrong with this one. Oh, oh yeah, Joe. Listen, I love Melly Mel. Like I said, his style, he's the originator of his style. He's amazing lyrically. I still listen to the message and all of his. And, and I know Melly Mel. Like, I look up to him, man. He's a he's a, a legend. I could go on and on about the respect that I He's my, he's probably my, my, my icon. My, he's one of my top. Yeah, legends, man. My he, icons. Lyrically, lyrically, dudes are still not touching him. But honestly, that skill set that Emin that that boy Slim Shady got, it that, you can't you can't nah man. Fat Joe and Papoose aren't the only ones to have reacted to Melly Mel's controversial comments. Eminem's close friend Fifty Cent issued a less diplomatic response on Instagram this past weekend, telling his hip hop forefather to get the f out of here. Fifty wrote in a sincerely deleted post saying, "There was more money selling dope than being in hip hop when Melly Mel was popping. The culture has grown so much. I am not sure if it would be what it is today without artists like Eminem." I'm not sure I would be who I am without him, but you know it is competitive, so people gonna hate. LOL, F out of here, we sucker free. Chuck D, meanwhile, defended Melly Mel from the backlash by providing a little more context to his comments for younger listeners. He tweeted, Understand Melly Mel was so dominant over the rest of the pack in the first five years of records, it's hard to comprehend for born after MC folk. It's why I call him Wilt Chamberlain and Wilt had a crate of critiques for the rappers after him, including me. Just let Mel be Wilt, lol. Eminem has yet to respond to Melly Mel's remarks himself, although he did shout him out as one of his musical influences while being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. But what do you think about what Fat Joe and Papoose had to say about Melly Mel criticizing Eminem? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.